Good morning, boys and girls. This is Betsy, remember? The one you always see. Oh, she's, I think she needs a nap. This is the one you always hear barking in the background. Yeah. Can we say hi, Bet Mitzi? Mitzi, Mitzi. Her name is Betsy, but we call her Mitzi. Don't ask me why. Okay, Betsy, you gonna go play? Go see Daddy in the backyard? Have a nice day. No bark. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. Are we ready to start our day? Yay, let's go, everybody. Stand up, please. Good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? Oh, good morning, Trinity friends. How are you? It's time to start our day. We will learn enough and play. Good morning, Trinity friends, and how are you? I hope you all had a fantastic week. This is Fun Friday. We're going to have a good morning. You ready to start? All right. Do we remember how many days in the week? You got it. There's seven. There were seven days. There were seven days. There were seven days in the week. A Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Good job. And the days of the week are... Dum, dum, dum. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is today and Saturday. It is going to be a beautiful summer day today, so try and get out there. Actually, it's not really summer yet, is it? We're still in spring, but it's going to feel like summer. <laughs> so today is Friday, June the 12th. Enjoy. All right. Well, before Mitzi came over to say hello, I was writing on a rock. And I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. But some fun things that I would like you to try today are going to happen right now. I sent these to your parents, okay? You've got two sheets, all right? This one we'll do in a minute. This one is, you ready? Okay. Oh boy, there she goes. There she blows, boys and girls. There she blows. Let me shut that door. Okay, so we can, <laughs> sorry about that. So we can barely hear her now. She'll stop in a second. You know what? It's probably the mailman or the mail lady coming by. She doesn't like people walking on our driveway. All right. So at school, when we were in preschool, do you remember playing freeze dance with me and with Miss Tamara? I think you do. So the rules in freeze dance are what? Oh, I see all those hands going up. Yes, you know. Music plays. We jump around. We dance. We have fun. And then when the music stops, freeze, right? Or sometimes we used to say, freeze on a certain color so you'd have to go to the green or to the gray or whatever you have to see or freeze touching the the, the the window or freeze touching the door or something right this is the same thing but a little tiny tiny a little bit different we want you to have a silly face i want you to do a silly pose so when the music's playing it's dan playing it's dance 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 so it stops silly face silly pose Got it? Do, 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 do. We're dancing, dancing, dancing. Great. Funny face, funny pose. Got it? All right. Have fun with that one. The next one is, it's called a sleeping song. I'm not really going to sing it though. It's going to be more like a poem. Okay. So we can start with mommy or daddy or an older person who can read to do this. Okay. And then once you get the hang of what the poem is or the little phrases that we're singing or, or, or saying, then you can do it. Okay. It goes something like this. Sleeping, sleeping. All the children are sleeping. And when they woke up, they were all, and I have to put something in there. So I'll say dogs. So then all you guys have to go down on your four, on, on, on four, like four little paws, four little legs, and ruff, 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 wag your tail and everything. And then the song goes again, or the poem goes again. Sleeping, sleeping, all the children are sleeping. And when they woke up, they were all birds. You see how I'm doing that? I'm filling in the last word, okay? You could have animals, uh, insects, you can have furniture, you can see uh, they were all pencils, and you have to be like a sharp pencil. Okay, anything you like, okay? It's kind of fun. You can put robots in there, cats, snakes, even babies, okay? And if you don't do it or you're the last one doing it, then you have to sit out until the next turn, okay? Coolio. The next one is called copy dancing. Now, we did copy singing at school. We never did copy dancing. I think at camp, Miss Lavana did dancing with you guys and you last year or the year before, and you guys copied her. But it's it's kind of sort of like that, okay? And remember when we did singing, 
Miss Kathleen's trying to teach her, or Miss Tamara's trying to teach her a little song, we say, uh, I don't know, like, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Then we stop and you say, twinkle, twinkle, little star. And by the end, we put the song together and we know the whole song, right? Same thing, but instead of singing, we're dancing, okay? Now, there were dances a long time ago called the mashed potato. There was a song called the hustle. There was a song called the worm. All kinds of silly names for, for dance. Did I say songs? I'm not saying songs. They're, they're supposed to be dances. I'm saying songs. They're dances called the worm, the mashed potato. There's all different ones, okay? Ask mommy and daddy to see if they can find a silly one online and you can teach it to them or they can teach it to you. Okay, it could be kind of a fun thing or you can make up your own, all right? But if you look in the past, you can say old fun dances or old fun um, choreography even. Choreography means the way you put something together, movements together, okay? It might be fun to do, all right? Anyways, have fun with that. Put on some tunes and show off the way you move, <laughs> okay? As you know, Miss Kathleen doesn't like to stay till, still for too long, right? The last thing I would like you to do, and this is really important, guys, okay, because it's not for you. It's not even for your families. It's for everybody else in the world, okay? Watch, bang. What I'd like you to do is find some rocks. I would like each, and this is a challenge. I'm throwing out the challenge, okay? I would like each and every one of you to find four rocks. Now, I'm, I'm not talking boulders here. I'm talking rocks, okay? It can be small rocks. It can be bigger rocks, but not too big because you've got to carry them and you've got to put them places. So if you have a big, giant rock, how are you going to have four? It's going to be kind of hard, so don't take bricks, okay? No, 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 no. Look at mine. Mine is really small. Small rock, a round rock I found in the backyard. So what I did was I painted it white and then I painted some blue on top, Okay. Miss Tamara's going to recognize what that one is. Yeah, she saw it in the backyard. She thought it was funny. So then on top, I took an indelible marker, which means a permanent marker. The, the, the marker will not come off in the rain. Okay, so these are Sharpies. You can, if you happen to have these, it's a good idea. Uh, if not, you can put a little bit of, um, what's that stuff called? Not Mac Tech. Hooga, 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 hooga. Anyway, you can put some like varnish on top, okay, guys? You put that on top if you have some at home, and it'll keep it from uh, from going bad in, in the rain, from all disintegrating, coming off, okay? So what I'd like you to do is find a rock. I sent some little phrases or words to your moms and dads, okay? This one says on the front, tu es gentil. On the other side, it says, you're nice. So what we're going to do is go for a walk. Doop, 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 doop. Have them in our pockets, okay? Everyone, four, don't forget. And let's pretend, okay, this is my water glass, but let's pretend this is somebody walking by and this is sitting on top of a big rock and they're walking by. Oh, look what I found. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? What does it say? You're nice, tu es gentil. Oh, whoever did that, that's really sweet. I know I'm not going to take it. I'm going to leave it here for the next person to find. And then maybe another person's going to come by and be so happy with it that, Oh, somebody went to the trouble of making this. I'm going to bring it and put it in my yard. So it's something that they can remember that there are really, really sweet people out there in the world. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to make rocks. I would like you to paint them or decorate them with markers, okay? It's simpler if you paint it white or yellow or like a beige color or light green first, okay? Because then all your other colors will show up on top. And then you can do your writing in a dark color. You can do a dark green or a purple or a black or whatever on top. I would like you to do that. Not for you, not for me, but for everybody else there. Because how sweet is that when you're going for a walk and you, oh my goodness, someone told me I'm nice. Isn't that sweet? All right. So some of these things you can write is smile, sourire. Because when they see it, they'll smile. You're sweet, tu es mignon. Believe. Believe can mean anything. Believe you're going to have a wonderful day. Believe we're going to be back in school soon. Believe every, whatever you want. So they just see the word believe. It makes them think of all kinds of things. So croyez. It's okay. C'est bon. Which means, you know what? If someone's having a bad day and they're walking by and, oh, I see a rock saying it's okay. You know what? Maybe it will be okay. Beautiful. Belle. Wouldn't you like to be called beautiful? You are. You're all beautiful. Be happy. Soyez heureux. You're nice. Suis gentil, right? 
you can do any kinds of happy things, positive things. If you can come up with a few more with mommy, ask, ask mommy or daddy to help you write it, okay? Positive rock art to make someone smile. I don't want to hear any negative stuff. This is to make somebody smile that you don't know and to make them have a wonderful day when they see it. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture here. I'll try and put it up close so you can see. Ooh, can you see that? Those are all different types of colorful rocks. You can put bugs on them. You can put animals on them. You can color color them with um, mm, 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 flowers or leaves or whatever you want. Okay, be creative. Do whatever you like with them. But I would like for you to do four each, please. Okay, and if possible, give me a little picture. Or maybe just click a picture on mommy's phone when you um, when you make them, because I'd love to see the rocks. And when you go for a rock, for a rock, I said it again. When you go for a walk this weekend or a bicycle ride, stop here and there and put them where you think people will find them. Or if you're walking down a path, you know, across the street from Trinity, there's a nice little pathway there. You can put a few in a row. Wouldn't that be cool? We can have a whole pathway full of positive rock art. Anyway, you know what time it is? It's time to win our day. Ready? It's time to win our day. It's time to win our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. Hooray! We made it through another week. It's Friday. Have a fantastic day. Have an even fantasticer weekend. That's not a word. I just made it up. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Love you. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Kisses. And I will see you all here next week. Bye, boys and girls. And bye-bye from Betsy, too. <laughs> she ran away. Bye.